Okay, guys, good evening. We are here to study the structure of the leaf, okay, leaf anatomy, and this is a leaf of uh, a vascular plant. How uh, can we recognize a, va a vascular plant? Well, the presence of veins. The veins, they are the structures, like, uh, pipe like structures, that they are able to transport water and minerals into the leaf. And the leaf is the main organ for photosynthesis. And this is necessary, the presence of water for photosynthesis, we know that. Okay, if we observe this small piece of the leaf, a vascular plant leaf, in a cross section, we are able to observe that the leaf is, is made of several layers of cells. They actually, they are tissues because they are specialized specialized cells organized to form this kind of structure responsible for photosynthesis let's talk about the first layer is critical critical is a kind of uh, material is a structure made of a, a waxy substance and it protects the leaf against the loss of water you can see that you ha we have a Epidermis under the cuticle, and you have two epidermis. This is the upper epidermis and the lower epidermis. And the lower epidermis it lacks the cuticle, and I will explain you why. Um, if you observe the epidermis, they lack structures inside of the cells that we call chloroplasts, as the Lower epidermis, they don't have chloroplasts. So, but except for some special structures that we call stoma, the guard cells, they are special cells that form stoma, like pores where you have the transport of gases into and out of the leaf. The stoma, they present chloroplasts. So, they are the only, only cell that presents chloroplasts is an exception. But the upper epidermis of the leaf, they don't have chloroplasts. Between the two epidermis, the upper and lower epidermis, you have the mesophyll. This is this region of the leaf that we call mesophyll. Mesophyll is composed by the first layer of cells that we call palisade mesophyll, is this one, and the spongy mesophyll. If you see, between the cells of palisade mesophyll, we, we don't have space, just a small space. But if you observe the spongy mesophyll, we have big spaces among the cells. And this is important because this is for the transport of gases among these cells. But both palisade and spongy mesophyll, you can see these small dots inside of the cells that we know as chloroplasts. Chloroplasts, they, they are that kind of special organelles that we studied two months ago, that they are responsible for photosynthesis because they have the pigments. And the main pigment is chlorophyll. And this is the region responsible for photosynthesis in the leaf. And you see here that you have a vein, a structure, an atom of vein, of a vein made of xylem and phloem, that they are two special tissues that you can find in plants. Xylem responsible for the transport of water and nutrients, and phloem responsible for the transport of nutrients. I mean, photosynthetes, substance that they were produced by the photosynthesis. Sugar is basically, you know, that sucrose is the main sugar transported into the phloem. And the stoma is responsible for, as I told you, the transport of gases, I mean carbon dioxide into the leaf and oxygen out of the leaf. And we have special movements of these structures that we will study later in plant physiology. Okay, you guys, this is leaf anatomy, and I would like you to check your email because I have some questions about this. Thank you. Have a nice night. See you later.